My great-grandfather, Simon, was a reporter for the Bristol Snoop, a newspaper of questionable integrity. May I help you? You George Mueller? Indeed. Simon, Bristol Snoop, is it true you're running a school for alien dolphins? What? If my sources are correct, this would be startling news, on par with a turkey born with the head of a cat. What? So you're not denying the fact that you're training extraterrestrial porpoises for less than ideal porpoises. I'm considered among my peers to be a genius with a headline. Look, uh, Mr. Simon, is it? We have no dolphins. This is a home for orphans. We look after children who have no parents. Oh, so it's possible their parents are dolphins. What? I mean, you never know. Good night, Mr. Um, Mr. Mueller? Oh, uh, he hello, Emily. Are you going to play the piano? Why, certainly, Emily. I'll be there moment to... Is that a turkey with the head of a cat? Why, yes, it is. That's pretty strange. You know, I thought so myself. Emily, dear, I was just seeing Mr. Simon off. Go ahead and start. I'll be right there. She's adorable. She is indeed. Has a good eye for news. Yes, I suppose she does. Is there anything else, Mr. Simon? Ah, no. Not if you're sure there's nothing extraordinary going on here. Well, there's plenty extraordinary going on here, Mr. Simon, but I'm not sure it's the sort of thing your paper would be interested in. Good night, Mr. Simon. Good night. I sing because I'm happy. Wonderful, Johnny. I sing because I'm free. For his eyes on the sparrow. And I know he watches. Aha! I knew it! I knew it! That's the first sign of a cover-up, speaking in codes. And I is watching who is Sparrow? Special forces? Covert ops? Oh, there's no conspiracy, Mr. Simon. We're singing a song about God providing for us. God even looks after the sparrows, so we can trust him to look after us. Oh. We believe God called us to start this orphanage with nothing. All you see here has been provided by God through our prayers and trust in Him. And I imagine by asking people for lots of donations. Oh, there's nothing wrong with asking for donations, but we've never asked anyone for anything. Never asked anyone for anything? That's right. I felt God wanted me to demonstrate how He could meet our needs without anyone even knowing. So we never asked anyone for anything. Wow, what a wacky way to start out. I bet you're glad that phase is over, huh? Things seem to be humming along now. Oh. George? Hello, dear. We're out of food again. Really? Oh, we have nothing to feed the children for breakfast tomorrow morning? Nothing at all. Not a crumb. Well, we'll have to handle it like we always do. So, how do you handle this? We pray. Pray? You can't just assume breakfast is gonna fall out of the sky. Think about these kids. God will meet our needs. If you like, you may join us for breakfast and see for yourself. Good night, Mr. Simon. Uh, good night, Mr. Mueller. Poor kids. Good morning, Mr. Simon. Good morning, Emily. I brought you something. Gee, thanks. These are dangerous times. Uh-huh. Mr. Simon, so good of you to come. Uh, do come in. Uh, this could be an interesting story. Uh, besides, I'm really hoping those kids get something to eat. Uh, children, we must be on time for school. Are you hungry? Yes, yes sir. sir. So, where's the food? Mary, uh, do we have anything to give them? So what do we do, children? We, we pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank thee for what thou art going to give us to eat. Amen. Look, maybe I can run out and... Uh, Mr. Mueller? I, I couldn't sleep last night. Somehow I felt you didn't have bread for breakfast, and the Lord wanted me to send you some. So I got up at 2 a.m. And, and baked some fresh bread. <gasps> oh, thank you so much. You're an answer to prayer. And a speedy one at that. I'm a bit thirsty, sir. Uh, excuse me. My, uh, milk cart just broke down. 
Mind if I unload some milk so I can fix my wagon? You can have all you want. Have some milk, children. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. I'll take some milk. And this same God who takes care of me can supply all your needs from his glorious riches which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. That's Philippians 4, 19, I believe. You can use it in your story if you'd like. Now, Great Grandpa Simon reported some big stories in his day, but this by far was the biggest. And the only one up to that point, I might add, that was independently verifiable. <laughs> that means it was true. And George Mueller would go on to receive money and food to build many more orphanages and help thousands of kids, all without ever asking anyone for anything. He just trusted God to meet their needs every single day. And every single day, God did. And I know he 